always know that. Hey. You got it roll, here we go. Hey. Shawty, you ain't gotta make a fuss Ay. When I was down, out of luck, and you stuck It was us in a rut Woke up, I hit a chick for you Baby, give me love, you know I live for you Girl, you know I live for you Ride or die, kill for you Let them talk slick, I'ma have to split a wig for you Hey guys, and welcome back to Drop the Mic So, uh, let's get a little housekeeping stuff out the way um, don't forget to hit that like button when you come in and please subscribe to my channel. We're on our way to 2000. So we moving on up in the world. Okay. Um, everything that I say on, on here is in my opinion is for entertainment purposes only and all rumors are alleged. All right, let's hop right into it. So in today's video, we're going to do a recap of a real housewives of potomac and we're going to talk about the last episode so basically the ladies are still in miami it looks like they have a uh, two days left something like that so uh, the episode starts off with all the ladies getting ready for karen's white party for her birthday child karen's birthday has been going on for quite some time okay like <laughs> okay when is her birthday over anyway <clears throat> Mia says she is not hosting because Karen went to check on Wendy and that means that she chose sides okay and she don't like it she don't like the fact that she didn't choose her side that's the only reason that she didn't like it didn't matter that she chose sides she just didn't choose her side so she told her let Wendy um go ahead and give you your birthday party because I ain't doing it you know especially since you ain't my friend my real friend you didn't ride for me even though I threw a whole drink in somebody's face and tried to hit them with my purse you should still ride for me I, I assaulted someone but you should still ride for me okay girl <laughs> moving on <clears throat> so the representative because i feel the life of me really do not know this chick's name i can't remember her name i don't know her name i know they've said it but i just don't know what it is the representative actually begins like hosting the white party she comes downstairs and you know tells them that she is you know the host hostess with the mostest right now because um apparently mia and her gigantic lips are still putting lipstick on so um uh, everybody's just like okay so what are we doing because i thought she said she was not hosting karen's party so why are you down here well i guess she must have had a change of heart you know or she realized that she couldn't get her money back for the people fire breathers that she was uh had brung down so she might as well go ahead and go through with it so anywho mia makes her grand appearance um whatever child mia i've just had so i've had enough of her this season like i'm so over her I i'm just over her I'm over her with her drama. I'm over her with her grand entrances. Just, she's just a clown, a whole clown. So um, all the ladies sit down and they start to eat and, and what have you. And Ashley does a toast. Um, it was a really nice toast. And then they all, Giselle has a bright idea that, okay, let's just um all tell our funny care funniest karen moment so they went through each person and told their funniest karen moment and i thought that was really cute i thought it was funny and i thought it was cute like one of them was with karen with her wig and it kind of sliding to the side another one was with karen telling um ashley that her man was gonna go to jail and don't drop the soap clink clink you know so it was cute it was cute so basically you know um after that the fire breathers come and that was really nice like it was a it was a really nice little show they put on a show lady ate fire they swung fire all around um the lady seemed to really enjoy that um and um they start you know talking about you know wendy and of course mia continues being petty about leaving wendy out period like you know I don't want to be around her I just can't with her like she's being so overly dramatic she's acting like a whole Karen right now like no pun intended she's acting like a Karen a white Karen not a black one a white one okay so Candace and Ashley start talking about um how they're kind of like getting along now what have you but Ashley found the this was a good time for her to bring up that Candace's husband tried to talk to her friend, which we all know was a lie, but she thought it was a good time to bring it up. Honey, 
All I can tell you is they need to leave Candace alone. They really do. One thing about Candace is that she's going to read you for total filth. And I feel like she went one by one around the table and she read them all for filth. She said she was tired of forehead and dusty vagina aka Ashley and Giselle starting their mess and telling their lies and that if Chris posted something on Twitter expressing his feelings he has every right to do that so limp off the ledge okay <clears throat> then she said she was really tired because she had we have long rolling hills of necks and when I tell you I spit my drink out lying and exaggerating again she was she was like I'm over you and then she actually labeled me as friend the representative she asked her who are you like because of course she wants to speak up for Mia and Ken um and this is like I ain't even talking to you who are you like ugh, go away so you know she also told them that they can all kiss the blackest part of her ASS and she meant it um you know and then she proceeded to ask each other one going around the table who wants some smoke which one of y'all want some smoke? Cause I'm here for it and I got all the smoke for you. Let me tell y'all this little tidbit about Candace, okay? She like a boxer. You know how y'all, you know how they say a boxer, um, if they fight someone that they can like, catch a charge because their hands are like lethal. So I feel like that's about, that's the same thing with Candace mouth. Like Candace mouth really could catch a charge because her mouth is lethal if you're going to get into a verbal sparring with her i'm gonna need you to be booted and suited and ready to go because she ain't nothing nice and she's going to read you down to the ground and if you can't handle that then you might not want to come for her or her husband that's all i'm saying that's all I'm saying. And they gonna get enough of messing with Candace. They really are. Uh, Cause she, 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 she really don't take no prisoners. She don't play. She don't play. Okay. So they clearly did not want the smoke. So they all left her the uh, alone. Okay. So in the next scene, we move from that scene. Cause Candace just shut them down. Um, from the next scene. Um, Candace and Sharice were talking. They were talking about, you know, Sharice said, you know, she just really wanted to have a nice dinner with no arguing, no pettiness, you know, just them, you know, ladies having fun. And Candace said, you know, she would try, but that's kind of hard in this group. Um, and then she proceeded to ask Sharice, well, do you think that Ashley's divorce is real? Because she thinks it's a scam. She's like, I don't believe it's real. I think Ashley is being a liar. And, you you know she wants to know if it's real why would you even consider buying a house with someone you're about to divorce um and she read him down to the ground in the process um <laughs> calling him nasty old disgusting perverted crusty Ooh, child just she had every name in the book for michael and, and i'm here for it because he is all of those things he's disgusting i don't even see how ashley can be married to him ugh, 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 nasty um so anyway, she says she believes um, that, you know, she's lying. And Sharice said, actually, she doesn't. She thinks that Ashley is telling the truth, that they really are going through a divorce. So that was kind of it for that scene. Um, the group splits up and the, um, this is the next day. And they pretty much like go... Um, Giselle, Mia, Karen, and the representative, they all go to drive Lambos, Lamborghinis for Karen's birthday. That looked like that was really cool. Looked like it was fun. They were just zooming around Miami, doing their thing. Um, and then the rest of the group, they go on a boat. Okay, so the ladies got all dolled up and pretty with their heels and everything on. And if y'all see that boat, it was one of them boats that you got to like exercise to drive. Okay, like it was like exercise bikes and you got to like keep pedaling in order for the boat to move. And it just, <laughs> I don't think that's the kind of boat they thought they were getting on. I think they thought they were going on like a really nice, like really nice boat or like a yacht type where they was going to have like a luxurious afternoon, not exercising for drinks. So anywho, um, when, um, 
Candace decides that, you know, well, actually, she had decided on the ride over that she wanted to invite Wendy. Okay, Robin had her whole face balled up, but she, but she said she didn't care, but she had her face balled up at the mention of Wendy coming. And Candace is like, no, you know, this is not right. Okay, so Mia's not with us. So it's no reason why Wendy can't join this group. And by the way she's down here in Miami y'all are ostracizing her from the group and it's not right like y'all are really on some old mean girl shit like I'm not gonna let her sit in a hotel by herself so she called her and invited her and Wendy came she accepted the invitation and she came when she got to the boat she spoke to everybody of course Walrus faced Sharice because she's a freaking follower clearly and Robin didn't speak um again for what she didn't do anything to y'all but again y'all have to do Giselle's dirty work y'all are just that's what I don't like about this show is that you got a bunch of ladies that don't have their own thoughts um you got a couple people like Ashley like Candace um sometimes Karen because she kind of suspect too but Ashley and Candace for sure they're going to speak their mind if they think somebody is being treated improperly or being wronged they're not going to just hop on some bandwagon and try to ostracize somebody they are going to like speak the truth like and I do really like that about Ashley and I like that about Candace so both of them felt like you know the way y'all are treating Wendy is uncalled for and the fact that Wendy was the one that got attacked and y'all still treating her this way this is really suspect like y'all are really sus so anyway Wendy gets there you know she's friendly she's inviting um she sits down and chit chats with um tries to chit chat with everyone but of course you know you got the two Ugg mugs at the end of the thing acting stupid um so Ashley asks um Robin about her marriage and she's I don't want to talk about it because everybody here doesn't like me girl bye that marriage is non-existent okay like for real it's non-existent that's why you don't want to talk about it don't blame Wendy because you don't have any plans for this marriage that's probably never going to happen like I am really seeing Robin for the colorist biatch that she is like she's a real colorist and it's kind of sickening it really is um so that was kind of it for that scene. The whole group kind of meets back up at the house and they get ready for dinner. Um, Robin plays Candace's Instagram post that she had left for um, Neck, okay? And her and Neck are sitting there, you know, acting like they're uber surprised because Candace said that they're all fake bees. She can't really stand none of them. And, you know, she just kind of read them in her Instagram live. Well, they act like they are so shocked. Candace has said this stuff to y'all face. So why are y'all acting like sh shocked when she says it on her Instagram? Like, anyway, give me a break. Y'all just wanted to have something to say and use against her. So anyway, it's a cue for, um, you know, rolling heels of thunder neck and for Rob, it's a cue for them to jump on the, the second dark skin girl and get them off the show. Cause I'm convinced that that's what they are doing. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. I, I'm convinced. So anyway, Candace asked Mia again, Okay, you kind of should be over it by now. Can Wendy join the group for dinner tonight? No, I'm not comfortable with it. She's sitting there with all that orange lipstick on her big bubble lips looking like a complete idiot. Um, but she was like, I'm not going to say it again. She cannot come. To me, this is just complete mean girl behavior. Okay, just disgusting. All right, so they move on. They get to the restaurant. They all sit down. Ashley said, bump this. She went outside. She called Wendy, told Wendy what restaurant they were at and said, girl, come on and join us for a drink. Like, no, you're not going to sit at the hotel by yourself. So Wendy accepted the invitation again and she came to the restaurant. Oh my God, if you could see the faces at that table oh my god it was like you would have thought that they invited the devil to come sit down and have like dinner with them Mia's pissed you know she's sitting them bubble lips over there mad talking about the disrespect and all it is then walrus jumps in and says I don't understand how you can make a decision for the group and um not talk it this or discuss it with the group girl shut the hell up because at the end of the day Mia's making a decision for the group and not discussing it with the group. She didn't ask y'all if it was okay to ostracize Wendy after she assaulted her. 
Okay, so shut up. You are such a pick me. I can't stand pick me women. Have your own mind and your own brain. That I do. That's what I like about Wendy. I mean, Ashley and Candace. They have their own mind and their own brain. Okay. So Wendy sits down and I, I got much respect for Wendy because even though she was assaulted, I don't know if I could have done this, right? I still would have probably wanted to beat me up, okay? But even though she was assaulted, she apologized for her part. And what she said her part was, was egging it on and making it worse for continuing to talk and escalating the situation. However, guess who didn't apologize back? You guess right, crater face, bubble lipped Mia, okay? She didn't apologize back because in her colorist mind she really feels like she was wronged even though she was the aggressor even though she's the one that assaulted wendy even though she's the one that hit wendy with her pocketbook and threw a drink in her face she still did not apologize and none of those ladies at that table said anything about it they never said Mia you should apologize for putting your hands on her that's what you should apologize for oh no they didn't say that because you would think that they were scared but they weren't you know what I'm saying so you know again they all this all of their slips is showing so anywho when it's all said and done they all start to oh I'm sorry can I'm um, not Candace Robert Rob Robin I'm sorry I, oof, I'm just getting everybody's name messed up Robin gets up and she plays the Instagram live that Candace made earlier saying that she can't stand these hoes and she put her phone in the middle of the table and put it nice and loud so everybody can hear so it just goes into this big discussion Candace is like whatever I already told y'all to y'all face that I ain't really feeling y'all like I mean what you want me to say I'm not going to be fake I really don't like you but then she tells Karen but that wasn't meant for you okay that wasn't meant for you well honey that's all Ashley needed Ashley flashed back to when her and Candace was trying to repair the relationship and they met for drinks or lunch or whatever and Candace ran her mouth and was saying something about you know um Karen having a boyfriend at one point or time honey Karen jumped up she said f this what y'all not going to do is come for my marriage again. I've been down this road before. She was very hurt. You can tell by what Candace said. She was very disgusted by what Candace said. And she got up and she, she stormed away from the table. Now, here's two things I'm going to say. Candace, you should know you can't trust forehead. When you was talking to forehead and I seen that scene, I kept thinking, no, she's going to use that against you. She can't be trusted. Forehead is not to ever be trusted. She's fake. She will cozy up to you just to get you to talk and then exploit everything that you say later. Don't do it. But Candace, I understand. You thought y'all were having a meeting of the minds, that she was cool. So you felt comfortable just kind of talking and being yourself. You can't be yourself around these bitches, Candace. You cannot. You got to you gotta hold your tongue, boo. You got to hold it. You, you can't with these hoes. You can't do it. So Ashley could not wait for the opportunity to throw you under the bus with that comment. She couldn't. So Candace, you, you, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that to her. With that being said, Ashley, you know you messy as hell. You had that shit right in your right pocket. You've been waiting to put that bullet in the chamber and fire it since she said it to you. And it was the perfect moment. So you made sure you said it, you know. And so, but I can't be mad at her because Candace gave her the ammunition. You know, what I'm going to say is this. You know, when it's all said and done, these women are messy. Okay. Some are messier than others. But... Some things you just don't tamper with. And I feel like that's the institution of marriage. These men are not on the show. Okay. And when you start messing with people's marriage and their children and their family, you to me, you're going below the belt. You can talk about anything else when it comes to these women or, you know, but don't mess with my family. Like seriously, it's too much. It's too much. And that's why these women be ready to, to drag each other by their wigs. Cause you messing with my, you messing with my man, you messing with my kid, like stop it. So anywho, they all get up. 
and ends up going to the club later on after the dinner is over so it looks like there was a little bit of making up between robin and wendy but it was just a little flash you know i don't know if it was like a drunk makeup or whatever i don't know but candace said everybody was pretty much getting along they were having a great time um you know it just it was what it was the only one that didn't go was gizzard she went home and she went to sleep everybody else went to the club and had drinks and got twisted had shots and had a great time but it looks like on the way back that candace really went in on robin because she was like you're supposed to be my real friend i can't believe that you ambushed me and threw me under the bus like that so they started having their going back and forth and that's going to kind of bleed into next week so the mid-season trailer came out after this episode and it looks like it is going to be a really explosive second half of the season so i want you guys to really stick around for that so what did you guys think do you think robin was being super messy by playing candace's instagram post at the table and what about the candace ashley karen situation like we karen i mean we all know Candace shouldn't have said what she said but she didn't say it and they got her on tape saying it and Ashley spilled the beans what do you guys think about that situation because it looked like Karen was really hurt I love to hear your views and your comments in the comment section and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe guys for real I'll see you guys in the next video What's up with you?